Hey golf people, I've got a little bit of news to share with you and kind of a little secret weapon too that we're gonna talk about on today's video. So likely you know that I broke my leg, I had surgery and then a subsequent surgery after that when the screws started coming out. And just in general, I mean, it sucks to get old. <laughs> and uh, I'm starting to feel it with my body, playing golf two, three times a week, shooting this show, things are starting to wear down, I'm getting more tired. I'm losing energy at the end of the day. I just want to take a nap sometimes. Aches and pains show up that I've never had before. And so I was like, I've got to do something about it. So I actually went to the gym the other day and they did this thing where they measured all of my body signals and put me on this scale and all these sensors and everything. And it turns out that while I'm 41 years old, my body clock says I'm 43 years old. So I'm kind of going in the wrong direction. And I want to change that. I want to kind of reverse that a little bit. Ooh, I've got a tough shot here. I got to go around that tree, kind of draw one in there. So if you've ever bought a new car, you've probably experienced like I have, you see that car all over the road. You can't get away from that car. If you're buying a Toyota Camry, you see Camrys everywhere. If you're buying a Tesla, you can't get away from Teslas. That's how it is, right? Same thing kind of happened to me. So I was scrolling on Instagram and I keep seeing health and wellness things and I'm like, how does Instagram know me so well? And then I come across something really, really interesting. Woo! Go! Oh, right on the fringe. So I'm scrolling on Instagram and I come across Phil Mickelson's logo, you know, the arms in the air one, you see it on his hat. It's like his official logo from when he won the Masters. Super cool logo, but it's on a coffee company, at least what looks like a coffee company. I'm thinking to myself, Man, I gotta get a hold of Phil Mickelson because this company just stole his logo. Whoa. So, lo and behold, I actually get an email from this same company <laughs> called The Good Stuff from Four Wellness. And I'm like, how do they know? <laughs> how do they know I've been looking at this stuff? It's incredible, the internet, right? Anyways, they say that they want me to actually test this stuff out and I'm like, it's perfect timing because I need to make a change. I gotta do something for my wellness. I gotta turn back that body clock a little bit. So they tell me it's good for my metabolism. Obviously I got a few pounds to lose. They say it's good for your skin. If you see on this show, sometimes I have these red blotches on my face and stuff. I could use that, that's another check mark. They say it's good for focus. Obviously I need focus out here, especially when I'm playing multiple times a week, testing all sorts of different types of equipment. It's hard to really hone in your swing and your game when you're doing that. They say it's good for your joint health and I've been having all sorts of like aches and pains in addition to my ankle actually feeling really good, but my elbow, I've had pulled muscles in my chest, just the weirdest things that could happen. It happens when I'm holding a camera out in front of me that weighs 10 pounds and I'm walking through the really hot Florida summers doing these golf vlogs. And they say it's good for hydration. And of course you've seen me on this show just sweating like the water dripping off of my hat. So another checkbox. So it checks all of my boxes. I'm like, I gotta give this stuff a try. Now I'm gonna tell you where the magic is, but right after I play this par three. All right, we've got 175. I'm gonna go six iron here. That looks good. That looks very good. Oh, oh man, my. that jumped right over the pin. Man, that thing went right past the flag stick. That thing was on the line. I thought we had an ace for once. At any rate, the magic I really think in this is that I didn't have to change any part of my routine because literally the good stuff goes right into your coffee. And I'm like, I drink coffee every day. You know, that means I can just have it right there next to my coffee pot, my sugar, which I'm not putting in anymore, by the way. But you know, in my little coffee station at my house, and it's right in my routine, I don't have to actually change anything. And I can actually drink this inside of my morning coffee and it doesn't take up any more of my day than that. So I'm trying to find my pitch mark, but this green is all punched. I can't actually tell you where it went, but this thing went right past to the flag stick. I've got, I don't know, 15 feet or so coming back down the hill. It's birdie time. Gotta hit it though. Gotta hit it, a little tentative coming down the hill. Oh, nasty, 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 nasty. So yeah, I like that I didn't have to actually change any part of my routine. Literally, this stuff just gets mixed into my coffee and on my merry way I go every morning. The one thing I did change is like I said, I cut out the sugar and I stopped putting milk in as well. You know, so I'm cutting out all the bad stuff and now I'm putting the good stuff in. In terms of taste, this has a very strong kind of cinnamony flavor to it. It's got a little bit of bitterness, which similar to coffee, 
you know, it's going to be a bitter flavor anyways. But that cinnamon is kind of the overwhelming change that I really taste and sense when you mix this stuff in. Now, how about the results, you ask? Obviously, that's the most important thing. And I've definitely had some serious results from this stuff, I would say. All right, after a good drive, we're dead center of the fairway. 146, I'm going to go eight iron here. So the first thing I've really noticed is that it's just given me a little bit more pep in my step, a little bit more energy to get through the day. I've got a long day. I've got two kids. I've got to take care of them, get them out the door, get to the golf course, shoot a golf vlog in this ridiculous Florida heat. Then I got to go edit it. By the time that's over, I felt so awful most days. Oh! They just don't break like normal on these greens that have been punched here about a week and a half ago. So putting, it's always going to be a little bit tough. But, but yeah, so the recovery really to me has been the biggest change. Not only feeling like I've got a little bit more energy in the morning, but at the end of my day, coming home after I've done my golf logs, been out here on the course in this ridiculous heat, spent some time with my kids, got them out the door for school, edited my videos, all that sort of stuff. Instead of just going down and feeling like a bus hit me. And I've had these days where I, I, I just felt like a truck ran into me. I'm not getting that anymore. At least not this last month or so since I've been trying this stuff. Now, the other thing that came in my pack was these little snacks. <laughs> they say snacks for wellness. There you go. There's the Phil Mickelson logo there. You can see it's USDA organic cocoa espresso brownie. We're gonna let Wade here, my buddy who I'm playing with today, try this out and let's see what Wade thinks of it. So Wade, he is the golf mom. Mm -hmm. He's the guy, he's got a cooler golf full of snacks. Mama. <laughs> Listen, if there's one thing I'm good for, not playing golf, right, but having plenty of beverages and stuff to munch on. I even got Incrustables today. Yeah. Just a couple Cliff Bars and now this. He brings the Gatorades, everything. We're always well stocked, so it's my snacks turn to bring something. I want to see what Wade thinks of it. I like this. As a fan of Cliff Bars, this is good. It's a very dense texture. It's good though. I like it. Golf mom approved. It's a strong taste. So it's like the, if you compare it to coffee, this is Cuban coffee compared to normal coffee. So it's got a strong taste, but I like it. It's good. It's good. It's a good size too, you know? It's a good point. The size is actually perfect because it's not like gonna fill you up. The worst thing you can do is be on like where we are here mid round and then just like completely fall apart because you had a heavy snack around the turn or somewhere out there on the course in fact it just happened to me we were playing out in stream song and i had a lobster roll on the ninth hole and i proceeded to bogey the tenth hole so <laughs> you know it is nice to just kind of get something just to give you a little bit of pep give you a little bit of a sprint to just get you through and give you that second wind again middle of the fairway driver is working pretty well we've got 141 i'm gonna go nine iron here Hold it, hold it, but we should be on the green. All right, we did just barely made the green there. We've got 25 feet or so for birdie. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Guys, highly recommend it. if you're like me and you kind of struggle with fatigue throughout the day, definitely hit the link down below, check this stuff out, give it a shot, put it in your morning coffee, get a new routine and tell me what you think when you do. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.